in terms of cons, I'm not even going to say, so some of the manufacturers are touting, you know, improved life expectancy or things because of having no mechanical operation there for the bearing specifically, because the bearings historically are a failure point for oiled systems. My issue with that is honestly, mag, mag bearings so far have not lasted a fraction of the time we would expect an oiled bearing to last. Now, there's a lot that has to play with that. We're still dealing with a fairly new technology. There's a lot going on around the development of mag bearing systems. These systems are extremely sensitive to electrical instability in a building in a space for that grid. So if you have a lot of instability, which a lot of buildings do, especially in major metros, I guess you, you don't have the cleanest power in the world. And unless we install some kind of isolation system on the front end of or coming into the chiller, uh, whether it be isolation transformers, or unless we have that in place to where we're basically isolating the the power the chiller is using from the grid's power so all those instabilities and the static noise that tends to build up inside of a, a building with a lot of drive equipment if we can't eliminate that that just wrecks havoc on all of our electrical control systems which makes our life as the technician very difficult and it reduces the actual life that we're seeing from these compressors we're just we're just not there yet, right? C will we probably be there one day where we've got all these things sorted out and like we have really good standards for moving forward? Absolutely. Um, we're just not there yet. That's one of the major drawbacks. And then our ability to work on it as technicians. Uh, there are plenty of us who have gotten enough training, gotten enough experience. Like we can service and work on magnetic bearings at this point, but there's a lot of us that really struggle to and that's to be expected okay uh, these are not simple systems